video explains the operational part of our VX series modular based video wall processor. In this screen there are four windows. First window shows the 2x2 video wall. Second window shows the Windows user interface of the system. Third window shows the rear panel of the video wall processor. There are four HDMI input source connected with it and four HDMI outputs connected directly to the 2x2 video wall. There are network cables connected for controlling purpose and to enable the preview functionality in the system. Fourth window shows the front panel of the video wall processor. Now let's go through the user interface to explore more about the features and functions of this processor. From the settings menu, we can connect to the video wall processor and even change the IP address of the system. Right now you are seeing the cross-screen functionality, picture-in-picture, picture-by-picture etc. Now I'm clearing all the input source windows on the screen. Let's see how in a single click all the four screens filled with the input source contents by simply clicking new button. We can also drag other input sources to the different areas of the 2x2 video wall. Now we can see four different contents are shown in the four different screens. Another way of putting the content is just to select the input with the mouse. Hold it till the video wall layout area. And just release it. We can duplicate the same content in multiple time on the same screen. And we can have different contents as well. Also we can make full screen in one full window. This is how we open the input sources on the video wall. Presets can also be created by clicking the save button in the scene menu. We can have create multiple presets like this and load the presets one by one by clicking the load button. We can also enable preview by clicking the preview menu, then we can preview the input sources in the left side and in the layout area we can see the actual content getting played on the video wall. We can have different video wall configuration by clicking the video wall button in the menu. Right now we have 2x2 video wall, but we can create 2x3 and 4x4, or any kind of video wall configuration with this modular video wall processor. That is it about the operational part of the video wall controller in a brief.